So now in this video, we're just gonna take another look at uh, the photo diode here. So you use it reverse bias, long lead anode to the negative supply, short lead cathode, headed to the positive supply. I also have a resistor, may not need it uh, for this video. Um, it will limit the maximum current. Otherwise, the photo diode, while it's reverse bias, will set the current. Now the reason why I'm making this video, we'll demonstrate that right now. Brighter light uh, means more current, and less light is less current right there. And there's uh, more than zero milliamps of current maybe, maybe it's like half a uh, uh, amp or milliamp I mean um, so that'd be zero five over there but uh, in any case it's not enough for this to uh, register this isn't as sensitive as a multimeter by any means and uh, so um, somebody asked what if you put it in backwards so we're gonna put long lead anode deposit supply short lead cathode in the next supply and I assumed I actually didn't know um, that it would just be like a regular diode while it's forward bias so I figured maybe like 0.7 volts, 0.6 volts, it would drop, then you'd have five volts across 220 ohm resistor and it would set the current. But there you can see there's no current. So obviously that's not the case. You would see, uh, I believe over 20 milliamps of current if uh, it was really was just the uh, resistor limiting the current. And there you can see uh, I've been able to get up to uh, 0.002 amps, the same as two milliamps right there. That's as good as I've been able to do. So that is well, it is uh, backwards. And uh, we did not uh, fry it because I've done this a bunch of times before and uh, got the same numbers. There we go. Turn back around. It is uh, reverse bias. And I believe I actually ran into this problem one time. I was getting a lot less current than I uh, was expecting and knew that I should be getting. And finally, I, I looked at the polarity saw. I put it in the wrong way, just turned it around. That's uh, really common with LEDs, um, just opposite polarities. If the LED's not lighting up, it's probably reverse bias. If everything else looks good, you just turn it around. You can check the leads too, but turn it around. Then it's forward biased and it lights up. Um, so a lot of times with diodes, if they're not working the way you want, make sure you check that. So in any case, I ordered these probably from eBay, I believe, because this was like a large number for something that I ordered from Amazon. And um, Amazon's usually more expensive, so, so you get less. But uh, I get it in two days instead of, uh, you know, this might have took a month or something right there. I got a label maker too. I made that. Now when it comes to the ones that I've used uh, before, I have a uh, another baggie here. Unfortunately, I, I put some back in here. So I don't know if they're all ones I haven't used. But I try to just use the ones that I've already used before unless they're really not working. Then I would grab uh, a new one. And uh, so that's where I'm going to put uh, this one. Now, there are other uh, photodiodes. There's, uh, I believe it's BWC35, just going by memory though, I could be way off. And it's kind of square shape, it's quite a bit bigger, and, and uh, lays pretty flat on the board, got a pin on top and bottom. And um, use a reverse bias, just like uh, this one, and more current goes when more light hits on it. But also, if you're not uh, powering it, instead you're like uh, measuring the voltage or monitoring it with a, a sensor or something, um, like an op amp or something, uh, light on it will actually produce a voltage and you know some uh, current and uh, so you don't want it to provide too much current that will throw off the uh, voltage uh, but in any case it does act like a little solar cell this one does not you shine light on it it won't uh, conduct so uh, all photodiodes again I don't know who manufactured this um, and uh, you know probably somewhere in Asia who knows and uh, so uh, if you have photo diodes that even look like this, they might have some different behaviors, but uh, the most important ones should be about the same. Also, there's photo transistors that I believe come in packages that uh, look like this. And I don't know how to uh, test for sure. I did a Google search, but I never came to a, you know, a definite conclusion that uh, these are photo diodes and not uh, maybe uh, photo transistors. Y you never know. But the uh, main takeaway is uh, test out the parts that you have and just... Uh, uh, use them the way that uh, they're they're working you know that's the best thing so in any case that's it for the video but uh, if you want to stick around a little bit I just want to mention that uh, YouTube revenue has gone way down this month it's common for August but I'm making the same in August right now as I made two years ago and uh, so um, the last two years have been you know pretty much the same some months are better some months are worse and uh, so but in any case uh, with uh, that kind of history there's no point making as many videos as I have been in uh, recent months. So uh, if you want to help out, check down below and uh, can donate to Patreon if you want. 
and um, there's also the uh, Amazon product page I linked that down there like I I bought this from Amazon and I linked it and uh, so if you like click this uh, buy one of these or if you buy something else you don't have to buy this spe uh, specific thing that you clicked um, but uh, odds are they'll give me a small percentage of what you paid for it and it doesn't cost extra to uh, click my link first doesn't cost you any extra no matter what they just give me like a small percentage so that's my preferred way if there's something on Amazon you want that you can help out uh, a lot so in any case that's enough rambling thanks for watching I'll see you in the next one